Okay, so this, this is what I want your expertise to do today, because I want to create some real space explosions. Are you up for that? Absolutely, that sounds like fantastic fun. <laughs> to start our test, first we need to see what an explosion here on Earth looks like. For that, we need explosive, a firing system, slow-mo camera, and over here, Paul Franklin cowering behind a blast screen. Well, experience tells me this is the best place to be at this point. Speaking of which... And perhaps you'd like to do the honours. OK, so three, two, one, ignition. <laughs> That's a proper <laughs> mushroom cloud, look that at that. Is. Should we go check it out? Yeah, absolutely. OK, Paul, let's see what we've got. If you want to run the footage, Simon, thanks. Let's have a look. So okay. you can see there's the initial detonation going off. That's, that's, what, that's the classic explosion from yeah, a, an old-fashioned sci-fi movie. Exactly, that's exactly what you'd expect to see in your typical Hollywood blockbuster. So now it's test number two. Indeed. What does an explosion look like in the vacuum of space? In space, there's no air. It's a vacuum. So for our test to be real, we create one here by sucking out as much air as we can from this jar and setting our explosives inside. But can I convince Paul it's authentic? That is a little tiny bit of space right here on Earth. Sure. <laughs> Go with it, Paul. Come on. It's, it's as close as we're going to get to space here today. Do you want to do the countdown, Ben? If you don't mind. Three, two, one. Nothing's happened. This is bonfire night all over again. <laughs> That was it. That's it. A real explosion in space would be rubbish. It wouldn't look anything like it does in the movies. Well, to be fair, we haven't quite completed the experiment yet because a real spacecraft would have air inside it. And so, fortunately for us, we have a spacecraft. This provides a little vessel that contains some air, so the charge will be inside that. It'll explode inside the air and blast the spacecraft apart into the vacuum. And that should give us what would really happen if we blew up a spacecraft in space. That I cannot wait to see. Our plan is to put our little spaceship inside a vacuum chamber because there's no air in space. But inside the little spaceship, there is air. When we blow it up this time, it should be the most accurate view of a space explosion we've seen yet. OK, I'll count it down. Three... Two, one. <laughs> oh dear me. That was not what I expected. Oh no. That's Armageddon. Something has gone drastically wrong. Ooh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> The experiment was a total failure because the seal was broken and air leaked in. It wasn't a vacuum like space. You know what this means? We're going to have to do it again. I think we are. <laughs> oh. We're going to load another chamber and suck out all the air again. Now, it's definitely a good vacuum. It looks like it to me. It looks like we're good. Three, two, one. this be mission accomplished? Is this what an explosion actually looks like in space? That's really dramatic what's happening here. Look. And the pressure gets so high, it rips it apart. It goes like a rocket. And then at the end, the flames die really, really quickly because they're going it. straight out into, into, a, into vacuum. a vacuum. You lot have actually been <laughs> underselling space explosions. I shall do my best to try harder in the future. One end of the ship blows off, it gets fired three light years yes. across the galaxy. Free your mind! <laughs> uh, anyone got a laser gun? Death break? No? 